Hello. Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the beginnings of greatness. That's a nice shot. My name is... Uh, Let's use that shot. Homie. Matt Rhodes. Uh, this is my big homie, Joey Livingston. I'm welcome to the beginnings of greatness. I'm, I'm, I've never had that adjective used for me. Big homie? Yeah, I guess I'm getting there. Yeah. Do you like it? No. W- what would you like to be called? Lil homie? Um... I like petite. <laughs> uh, this is my petite homie. <laughs> it's it wears size extra medium. Ass- uh, assistant, Joey assistant to the guest host. Assistant to the guest host. The, can you focus that camera over there, Matthew? Yes. Let's switch over there. Switch to. Crew member is not here today. Can you look? Can you look in the camera, Joey? Yes. So I can concentrate on your eyes. Hello. Oh, oh yeah, that's looking good right there. Oh baby. Do we have a nice focus on this camera here? Let's look at that. Oh, that's very nice. Nice. Here, let me just let me just touch it up. Concentrate a bit. on my eyes. There we go. Lovely. Nice. Oh, here. Man. Wait a minute. Hold on. It's way out of focus. There we go. <laughs> that's nice. Let's see the other they shot. Call me blurry. Yeah, I like that. Let's go back to this one. Go back to the other. Yeah. Got the other. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's way out of focus. Nice shot. That is way out of focus. <laughs> that's way out of focus. All right. Let's uh, let's quit clowning around here. Can we can we cut to the show? This is a serious show. Serious people on it. Seriousness. Oh, let me <laughs> let me get you good. There we go. Wait. All right. Nope. Uh, nope. Mm. Mm. Come on. <laughs> All right, we're there. Do you like it? Petite helmet goofing off. Quit goofing around. All right, let's get down to it. Uh, I don't know. Did I have a good week this week? I did because I got over the flu uh, the week before last. Oh, I, was, yeah. I was very sick. And I, just, I couldn't be here uh, Sunday. What did we do last week for our show? We replayed the uh, uh, first annual T-Bog Pony Show. Nice. That's always a good one. Yeah, it's a classic. Classic. Coming up soon, I think we're going to have a um, and incorporate a little bit more class in our show with a dance competition. Yes, we've been. I think you and I might actually enter that competition this time. I think we should. We don't know anything about ponies, but we do know about. We know how to get down. We know how. We know about. We know how to bust a move, pop, block, and drop it. Pop, lock, and. Drop it. Uh, you be pop locking, man. You be pop locking. No, I don't know how to pop lock. How do you pop lock? Show me a pop lock again. Let's see, it goes a little something like this. You go. Mm, 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 okay, uh, the, uh, nice our job. switcher is back there eating hamburgers. Can you? Okay, we got it. There we go. Looks like this. Yeah, pop, then you lock, then you go, and you lock, and it go, and it lock, and it. Looks like you have arthritis. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's why it works so well for me because I have a uh, severe rheumatoid ru- ruma- ruma- arthritis. And <laughs> so, on reflections uh, today, um, Rhonda was talking about um, a story where our brother. Your brother, my brother, John. John! And his wife, Meredith. Meredith. Went to a uh, marriage retreat. Marriage retreat. Is that yeah. where you retreat from marriage? I think so. Why that did they go on it together if they were retreating from marriage? I don't know. It's weird. That's, that's what I was questioning. Why would you go to a marriage retreat to retreat from your marriage if you're going to go together? Well, maybe, maybe it's just something maybe they, they wanted to do them, together. Maybe they split them up. Or maybe it's just something that, maybe that's, as maybe a married couple, that's what they wanted to do together. Yeah, they they wanted, do everything together. Maybe they wanted to retreat together. Even retreat from marriage right. together. Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet. That's nice. Very sweet. So anyways, uh, there's this story going around that was told on Reflections and has been told all day um, that uh, they had this competition. It was a art competition mm-hmm. where everybody was asked to draw what marriage meant to them. Right. And John drew an eyeball, yes. and uh, and he explained that uh, that was a single eye that he had 
for his lady. For his lady. His lady. A single focus. Lady. His third eye. I got eye. a single focus for you. Lady. 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 Oh, lady. I got a single focus for you. I got a single eyeball for you, lady. I got a third eyeball for you, baby. It was, it was one eyeball, just one. Nope. But maybe his third eye is the one he drew. Because he has two eyes. But maybe his third mental eye. Maybe he's going to gouge one of his eyes out. That's true. Yeah, m- maybe he can see the future with his third eye that he's going to lose his second eye. And that's why he drew a single eye. Well, it could be. I think that's the most likely explanation. Yeah. But anywho. Anywho. Uh, so the there was another person in the competition. And they drew something. And they actually won first place. Well, that that there were a couple people in the competition. Yes. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of people right, in the competition, right, right, right. but I was in this story. There was another person who won first place for first their drawing. Place. Right. And what did they draw? They drew a penis inside of a cage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a penis in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all my rage. <laughs> Still just a penis in a cage. <laughs> that that's what I was singing back there when uh they they heard. You were literally about. ruining the show with every syllable that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> Despite all my anyways. And uh and so, so so what happened after that? Who heard that story? Well, unfortunately <laughs> my son heard that story. Right. He was in the room when John was telling that story, and uh, my son is six, and he thought <laughs> that was hilarious. It is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and so he proceeded to laugh and repeat that phrase uh, over and over again. I'm told, I wasn't there, but I'm told that he did it for 15 minutes. I'm sure that's <laughs> a bit of hyperbole, but <laughs> he thought it was hilarious. And and so today he remembered the story, and he ran into the studio while I was working and told me the story while I was talking with William. William Caicedo Torres, yeah, the bull, right. So I put the microphone up to Gavin and let Gavin uh, say that to to William, <laughs> and who, was, who was very confused. And then William, he was confused. William said, thought that Gavin was said, calling him that. <laughs> I th- I thought William thought that he said, uh, "Your son is drawing a picture of me like a penis." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I should just yes. let him think you that. Should have been like, yeah, should just let him think that. Yeah, he should have said, I told my son yeah. Gavin to draw a picture of you, William, and uh, it was a penis yeah. in the cage. That's how much I hate you, William. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much the I despise first thing I William. I taught my son is how to draw you looking like a penis. <laughs> 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 and Joey's very good at art and drawing and all types of stuff, and... Uh, he sat down with his son and showed him how to draw William Caicedo Torres. Everything Torres. starts with circles, son. <laughs> you start with a, a mushroom at the top. <laughs> then, uh, then you draw like a building. <laughs> all right. That's enough. With foliage that's at the bottom. <laughs> that's quite enough. Foliage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that that was a funny story that Gavin was repeating it. Uh, yeah. We... You know, you did kind of encourage him to uh, tell William. Well, it it was funny. I mean, I, oh yeah, you know, funny and innocent. It was a cute story. I mean, you know, call child protection on me, I guess. But uh, William I said he was going to. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe in uh in. Well, I mean, sometimes I do, but I think the better policy is to, uh, you know, not like scold the child right there because uh, yeah. either he's going to to feel like. Uh, like I'm mad at him or he did something wrong, which he didn't, you know, right. he's repeating a story. Or he will say, well, I'm just going to do that when you're not looking. <laughs> right. um, so yes. we did tell him that he would get in lots of trouble if he said that to anybody at school. Yeah, definitely. And then yeah. not only will he get in trouble, uh, teachers will yeah. have some questions. I will get in <laughs> yeah. Where did your son see this penis in a cage? Uh. <laughs> Can you tell us about your home life, please? <laughs> And uh, Mr. and Mrs. Livingston, what's your phone number? And are you free this weekend? <laughs> what is your occupation? <laughs> uh, 
Well, I'm a videographer. <laughs> Do you lock the door when your wife and yourself are spending time together? No way, Jose. <laughs> we believe in transparency, <laughs> Mrs. Finkelstein. We want our children to have access to us at all times. <laughs> all times. <laughs> oh, we're, we're sickos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna change the subject. Where's that echo coming from? Can yeah, what? Tone what, 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 that down a bit, please. What's going on? No, 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 no. Where did I like? They're completely ignoring from? me back there. It's like, oh, look at the look on the switcher. He said, "Tone down the echo." <laughs> it must be just part of the show. <laughs> nice camera shot. All right, thank you. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. I was gonna talk about something. <laughs> I forgot. It's probably for the best. The echo threw me off. Uh, it was about, it was about, it was about. Oh, uh, we have an upcoming show, hopefully, in the works. It's still a ways away uh, where we're going to have a, hopefully, if we can get in touch with this person and if they'll agree to be on our show. Uh, a culinary expert uh, is going to come on, hopefully, and teach us and teach us how to make a certain dish. And uh, y'all, y'all stay tuned because uh, hopefully it'll be in the near future. Well, she is certainly among the best uh, of those who make this particular dish. Correct. Correct. Right. right. A culinary expert in a certain dish. Right. And I think it's going to be great. Uh, that and that adds to the uh classiness that we are striving for. Your microphone's going limp, Joey. Uh what tap it. Uh blow on it first and then <laughs> tap, and then uh tap the bottom. Whisper sweet nothings into its ear. <laughs> <laughs> you just totally turned your microphone off. I didn't turn my microphone off. That's why it went limp. What is wrong <laughs> with you? Ah, man, I wish I could remember what I was going to say. I can certainly say that I have changed as a person just just from knowing you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I was going to say. It was about uh <laughs> What's that called? The the nuzzle? It's called the uh Eskimo kisses. Banging my nose in frustration. <laughs> oh, I was gonna talk about these uh these Christian country singers. Like they do Christian music but uh in like a country style. And what's funny is that <laughs> they talk about the stupidest stuff like they're thankful for. Uh, like instead of like, you know. Are you being mean spirited? No, no, no. Like thanks for just, you know, this whole world, this awesome world, blah, blah, blah. They're like, thank you for letting me born in the South. Thank you for my pretty white mouth. Thank you for kicks, Brooks, and Ronnie Dunn. Thank you for the southern states. And well, it's just nuts to me that that's that's what, what country singer is this? I don't know. It's like uh, it's in general, most of them, the country mm. singers, they're they're thankful for uh, God having them being born in the south. Right. <laughs> thankful for, you know, all the southern states. Thankful for uh being white. Why does God help some football teams win games? Uh because they just pray harder. <laughs> P- pray wrong, lose, lose all the time. No. Is it it's uh is it because the football players go to church more? Uh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be, <laughs> cause they, cause they just love God more. 
or because God loves them more. Nah, I'm I'm tired of hearing stuff like that about people, uh, you know, thinking God like they'll hit a home run, cross the plate, point up to the sky, like. <laughs> so that means what? God hates the pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to hit this home run while the pitcher feels like crap. So Poor God, pitcher. God must hate him. Yeah, I'm tired. So of does it. the pitcher do that when he? When he does a, when he does a strike out, it does. Does it? So that means uh, God hates the batter. Hmm. Not not all pitchers do this, but the re- religious ones do. Uh, same way with football, they'll score a touchdown point. Well, the guy. correct answer mm. is God hates the batter. Right. God hates the batter and the wide receiver and the quarterback. But I, I'm gonna those claim, are I'm the, gonna, those are not positions in the same game. I know. I'm just naming the positions. What do you want me to do? Name Don't it? you hate it when the batter hits like way out to the wide receiver? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but the wide receiver is in the audience watching. Mm-hmm. And if you bring, but when the quarterback ba- quarterback makes a home run, that is Ooh, special. spectacular. Yeah. That's a magical moment, right? When the uh, goalie, but you know what sucks <laughs> is, when the, is when the catcher intercepts the ball. Ooh. That's uh, uh, horrible. When the catcher intercepts the ball, it's just devastating. And uh, when the <laughs> when the right tackle uh, gets an ace, that's just yeah. that's just uh, yeah. s- remarkable. Or when the the pitcher lobs the birdie over the net, <laughs> 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 or what about when the what about when the quarterback um, uh, gets two queens? Oh yeah. yeah, two queens. Yeah, like he gets all the pawns across the board. Oh. <laughs> 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 like you know, when the right <laughs> right fielder uh, gets a birdie, oh, it's awesome. We we can go. We, we let's keep going. There's so many positions <laughs> in different uh, sports. You know, in Tiger Woods, it's a grand slam. Out of the love when the pitcher gets stuck in jail and cannot pass go, <laughs> and cannot collect two hundred bucks. That's awesome. That's totally awesome. Uh, ooh, I seen a good movie uh, last week. Flight. Have you seen that movie with Denzel Washington? I have not. It's awesome. And, uh, okay, I've seen Argo, which won Best Picture at the uh, 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 Oscars. Mm-hmm. Is that good? It's okay, but uh, definitely didn't deserve this uh, picture. Hmm. Yeah, it, was, it, it, it was. You a, are going up against experts on this position, sir. It was a movie with no humor, no action. <laughs> there was no clown in it. Uh, there was no clown in it. There was no poop jokes. None at all. There, w- <laughs> there, <laughs> there was a. Uh, there were no um, fat men wearing shorty shorts. Mm. Was there? No, 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 no. There was not. So yeah, it was crap. <laughs> it was crap. It's going down real quick. Yeah. And uh, but anyway, uh, and I I seen I started watching Zero Dark Thirty, which is up for Best Picture also, and. Uh, I f- almost fell asleep during uh, about thirty minutes in. I I turned it. I couldn't get into it, and that's supposed to be an, been an awesome movie. But Flight kicked all of their butts, and no no Oscar for Flight. Have you noticed that there is still an echo in our mics? Yeah, what the heck? I think that our switcher back there is trying is experimenting with trying to cut feedback. Yeah. I th- but yeah, he's not doing it right, and uh, I think he's experimenting with our show. I think yeah. we'll experiment. Our show is not experimental. We'll experiment at eight o'clock tonight. This is not an experimental program. Would y'all like to uh, turn on Mike Four and share with us what y'all are talking about? <laughs> I want to hear it. It could be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Four, Mike Four. Let's turn on Mike Four. Turn on Mike Four, please. Share with us what you're. Light it up, Mike Four. Where is crew member? I miss crew member I so much. I miss crew member too, especially during uh, during our show. 
This is horrible. They're Whoa. Don't make me identify you. <laughs> Who do we have back there? <laughs> we have <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what a day! We weren't. We weren't even gonna. I was. I just realized when I got up here and sat down <laughs> that that uh, I wasn't planning on doing the show today. Oh really? Yeah, because crew <laughs> wasn't gonna be here. Then right. I, was like, I saw our <laughs> substitutes back there, and I was like, Oh, oh Lord. Snap. dude! Uh, the switcher didn't even didn't even uh, get up there until. Uh, like yeah, he was a minute, but he was talking. Lounging back. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? It was two minutes ago. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had our handy cam up here. We we expose them. Yeah. The one time. The one time when we need it. Yeah. But then, well, I mean, they, you know, we'd have to rely on them switching to it. Yeah. They, uh, how's it going back there? They're having a nice conversation. <laughs> Anywho, uh, you know, when you make that sort of like, an, like when you're in a classroom environment, <clears throat> and people are supposed to be listening and not talking, right? The teacher will do what you did. Uh, can you share with us what you're right. what you're talking about? Is it you know is it funny? Mm-hmm. And and that is a signal to shut your mouth. Right. But our our substitute crew. Mm-hmm. What was their response? Their response was <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> what are you gonna tell you? What to tell you after the show? Tell you after the show. What to tell you after the show? Yeah, light it up. Uh, tell us, huh? Four? Yeah, mic four. That's mic four. You got to uh, uh, light it up, light up mic four, and then turn it up a little bit. You're messing with us. <laughs> Let's ignore them. Yes. Let's ignore them. Yes. We can, have our, we can have our own show. Yeah. Hey, we got our own show. Yeah, they don't have their own show. Uh uh-uh. uh. own show. But uh, before we move on, I'm looking forward to our culinary expert. I'm looking forward to the dance competition coming up. Yes. Uh, and maybe we're gonna have some uh, some live music. Some live music. Yep. So y'all stay tuned for that. Yep. We're working hard to make T Bog everything that you dreamed that it would be. That's correct. What? Why is the switcher not switching to me as I'm speaking? I don't know, they, they are in their own little world. I try that again. We are working hard to make T Bog everything that you dreamed that it would be. Yes. Everything the audience dreamed it would be. Or everything that we dreamed it would everything be. Everything they dreamed it would be. Right. The audience has high expectations about yeah. this. They've got high They've been hopes. dreaming about what T Bog could be since the day we got up on stage. That's right. They love it. They love yeah. us. Our Nielsen ratings are through the roof. <laughs> They would like for it to become an interactive program. Yes. And but there's no vote, right there's now, no vote up for that. Yeah, no way. Uh maybe maybe with the uh live music we can get them to vote. Last time last time I even considered turning on the comments and reading them, I opened it up and somebody said a dirty word to me. Oh, filthy. Who was it? I don't want to out them because I don't you know, I don't want Make a made I don't up want name. people to look down on them. Make a made-up name. Uh, they, a made-up name? Mm-hmm. Um, it was uh, Bennis Goosey. Ooh, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bennis Goosey. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he didn't say a dirty word. Speaking of Bennis Goosey. It's fun, to, it's fun to say he did. Uh, Scoosey. We'll have to get him to teach us some Netherland words. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how you say penis in a cage and... The Netherlands. In Cajun? Penis in a cage oh, in, a ca- in the I Netherlands. Said, how do you say penis in Cajun? Oh, all right, penis in a Cajun. Uh, no, penis in a cage. Right, penis in a cage in, uh, what is that, Dutch? They speak Dutch? Hmm. I speak a freaky dicky doy Dutch. <laughs> there are lots of people being affected by our programming right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the goal. If you just tuned in, uh, 
the phrase penis in the cage uh, refers to a story that we were telling earlier that actually happened at a marriage retreat. Yeah. And uh, we're sorry you weren't there for that. In, in the meantime, you'll just have to think that uh, we like to say weird words, yeah. which we do. Which we do. Yeah. And uh, penis in the cage in Dutch, I think it's Dutch, is uh, penis in the cage. I think that's how it is. Panis in a cage. <laughs> Panis. Panis. <laughs> in a cage. In a cage. Uh oh, we got a crew. Oh, did you want us to reset the camera? Here, here, I can do that. I can reset it. Let's do both at the same time. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, the switcher is clever. Switcher. Go turn that camera off. Go turn that camera off over there. Turn all the cam- Turn all the cameras off. Turn them <laughs> off. Oh, there we go. What a <laughs> spiteful switcher. What a jinger. What a jingo player. We're, today we're protesting because uh, we have a substitute crew who is uh, completely unruly. Uh, they are not doing anything that we asked them to do. And uh, so we're just throwing small tantrums i hope i'm uh lucky enough to uh live long enough to be able to do this you mean do it uh involuntarily Mm -hmm. you ever seen old people do that yeah why do they do that i don't know (laughs) we need to ask one maybe they're uh, mouth gets real dry as you get older, and then uh, something kicks in where you moisten up your mouth with your tongue uh, involuntarily. It just takes over. It could be it. You could be right. I could be crazy. I could be crazy. I could be right. I could be eating some steak tonight. Hmm. Let me tell you about a boy named Joey. He walked downtown, listened to my story. Joey went downtown looking for some griddles. He found instead a homemade fiddle. He played that fiddle, but it wasn't any good. So they kicked him outside and punched him in the woods. Like my song about you, Joey. (laughs) There was a boy named Joey. (laughs) And he wore glasses. He walked downtown kicking major asses. They got him in Hollywood to make action films. He made $30 million starring with Lee Kim. How about that one? That made you look cool. Mm, I try. Can't. I can't please this guy. Where was the boating? <laughs> okay. Now I won't sing any more songs about you. Uh, how about you? Uh, can you sing a song about Dennis Goosey? Uh, before you sing the song. Uh, Dennis Scusi is coming up right after our show. He's going to be with NCG Texas. He is. He's going to be on Wold. Yes. Uh, a full uh, 50 minutes of the Scooster with uh, BJ Upton and... BJ Sailor. BJ Sailor. That reminds me of that one... Uh, that one... Uh, get Upton? Oh, he's a baseball player. BJ Upton is a baseball player? Yeah. Oh. I see. Um, uh, B.J. Sailor. That reminds me of that movie. I forgot the name of it. It's a Mel Brooks movie, I think. And uh, their friend Sailor died, and they cremated him, and they had him in a shoebox. And <laughs> they spread his ashes out over the water, but it was real wet. <laughs> and it blew back. And I love like, that guy. Like, bye, Sailor. Then it came back, and they're like, bye, Sailor. <laughs> bye, Sailor. <laughs> Bye, Sailor. Oh, I've seen that before, but he probably invented it. It was good. It's funny. Bye, Sailor. <laughs> uh, stay tuned. I don't remember where I saw that, but when I saw <laughs> it, they tried to cast, cast the ashes out to the sea and the wind blew it back. <laughs> <laughs> they went in their mouth and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> nasty. <laughs> yeah, that's a good gag. That's a classic. I love it. I wonder how many times that's happened in real life. I bet it's happened. It's bound to. Oh, yeah. People are casting their deceased <laughs> ashes all the time into the ocean. Ashes to ashes, dust to fuss. Uh, you know, I'm not really the master improvisational <coughs> songwriter here. You want me to try and write a song about Dennis Scusi? Scusi, yeah, about his uh, upcoming show in just a few minutes. <sighs> and maybe I'll try to sing with you as you... I'll try to accompany you. Let's see here. What you need to... The way you write improvisational music is you need to come up with a classical melody. Mm-hmm. That like like what you did the country tune <laughs> what's another classical melody let's do do a uh like a rock ballad like leave it on time Oh, Dennis Scoose is going to be on road today. It's yes, his sir. moment to shine in the sunshine's way. He's he's going to be famous at the show. is done and then BJ says he's going to be Bay on, on too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, BJ that Sailor. That was good. That's good. I liked it. Right. Yeah. Thank you. So I still hate your song. It was kind of like a uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen uh, hardcore anthem. Monster ballad anthem. Oh, okay. I dig it. I like uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen was on with Jimmy Fallon singing that song by Willow Smith, Will Smith's daughter. Uh, I whip my hair back and forth. Yeah. I whip my hair back and forth. Uh, whip my hair. Did that for real happen? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Maybe I could play a, a little bit no, of it. No, you cannot. <coughs> No. Just to give y'all a, no. a clue of what it may sound like with my hair. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Who am I? You are Joey. Joey Livingston. Joey Livingston, executive producer. EP. Right. Yes. I'm saying don't play that. Why not? But who am I? Matt Rhodes. Matt, Technical Matt. director. That's right. I... Outrank you, and you don't want this song to be played. Don't play that. Don't don't play the Bruce Springsteen song. Don't do it. Okay, I won't. I will not play the Bruce Springsteen song. Can't believe you fell for that. But I might play something. Can I believe you fell for that? Does this will this ruin the mic? Cut to the shot. Cut to the shot. Cut to this one. Will this ruin the mic if I do this? Oh gross! Oh guys, that's gross. Does that ruin? Does that ruin the microphone if I do that? Does it? Is that bad for the microphone? I don't know. Uh, members, does that ruin the microphone? Substitute members, does that ruin the mic when I do that? No, it's okay. Does that ruin the microphone when I'm eating on the cheese and I'm all alone? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Told you not to play that. Whip my hair. Uh, speaking of Jimmy Fallon, uh, rumor is he's going to uh, take over the Tonight Show for Jay Leno. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let me just tell you a little something about Jimmy Fallon. He is a very talented dude. I got much respect for him. <laughs> he's going to make a very good, very good host <laughs> still got that camera Th- that is if uh jay uh leno doesn't kind of screw him over like he did conan <laughs> i think jimmy oh, fallon would be a good, good tonight show host I, I, I like jimmy fallon better than jay oh yeah way better than jay yeah. jay's kind of 
mediocre. He's definitely got a bad rep. Yeah. But he's kind of like non-controversial. He His jokes are pretty lame. But uh, he's a staple. And I heard he I heard that uh, Jay Leno is still getting the best ratings out of all the talk show hosts. He is. Why is that? Just a, I think it's just the slot, isn't it? Could be. Or, or maybe uh, he gets a lot of older people watching him, and they just like that kind of corny stuff. And uh, But Jimmy Fallon, he's fresh, new, edgy. He always does a usually does a skit uh, since he was with Saturday Night Live. He's <laughs> pretty good at skits, skits and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think I think he's gonna make a great addition. I hope it doesn't uh, mess him up by going to the new time zone, kind of like it did Conan. Guys, can you readjust these cameras, please? We can't. Conan didn't can uh, see us. get very good ratings when he was Somebody with the these Tonight cameras. Show. Yeah, it's weird. Did uh, one of the members come and move these cameras? It's Probably. Weird. That's what that's what you get from substitute My members. Hair. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whip my hair. Yep, uh, I'm looking forward to Jimmy Fallon uh, doing that. Yeah, I hope he keeps the roots with him. They are an awesome uh, band. Band of Brothers. Let me check. Oh. (laughs) I'm sure they can hear him back there. Show him eating it. (laughs) Show him eating it. (laughs) <laughs> the switcher back there is getting told like show them eating it <laughs> show them eating uh, that switchers program. are um, um, one of them is five years old and the other one is seven yeah <laughs> show them eating the burger <laughs> they just had a slap fight a minute ago when they couldn't figure out how to show our pictures uh, have you seen that kayak.com commercial where the guy's sitting there looking up something and the guy <laughs> comes through the sweater and pops out. Yeah, that's <laughs> am- amazingly random. <laughs> and then at the very end, they show their hands like real slowly. They just sit there. It's great. Well, guys, as what do you? How do you suppose the audition for that commercial went? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like, do you think that they knew what they were the going to be doing? In the audition, or do you think that they hired him to read a part, and then when they got him into the studio, they told him what they wanted him to do? Do you think they knew before or after they were hired? I think they knew before. So so the commercial is there's a guy typing at a computer, and then um, uh, it's a it's a, a black dude. Right. And then this Asian guy. This Asian dude comes out of his sweater, like it like comes through his sleeves, and his head comes right. out from, of the same. From underneath. So they're wearing the same s- sweater. Right. Like like supposedly they're the, they're the same person or something, and and now they're fighting over control of the <laughs> of the sweater or the or the body whatever. Yeah, I I got to email Beck about this. Like, but to make this commercial, this black dude and this Asian dude had to literally share a sweater. Like they had to right. wear the same sweater at the same. The Asian dude had to be over the black dude's back, wearing in his sweater. No, the the uh, the Asian dude came out from front. Yes, that's yeah, true. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, the Asian dude. So he had to come out. You know, he had to come out in the same sweater and then put his arms through. Right. Yeah, I thought it was a great commercial. So I, I well, what I think that it happened was, is how would well, you react if you and I got hired for a commercial, mm-hmm. and then the director said, "Okay, so um, this is going to be hard to." How how would that conversation go? Listen, um, you you. You're gonna have a weird reaction to this, you know. So just prepare yourself. But what I want you to do is I want you to wear a sweater, and um, oh, I can, I, I can wear a sweater. How, how am I gonna say this? Um, so your brother Joey, uh, he is going to uh, what's the word? Um, r- rub his head against your chest as he comes up in the same sweater that you are in, and then. He's going to stick his head out of the same neck hole. 
Ooh. And he's going to bring his arms next to yours through the same sleeves. Oh, yeah. I'd say sign me up. <laughs> Little brotherly love. Just slide on up and then come on out. Then we'll have our hands and give it a twist and shout. But I think when they did the audition, they did it separately. And then they, they found the two guys. And then then they put them in a big sweater. That was an enormous sweater. Gigantor sweater. Uh, should we uh, talk about s- something with substance before we go? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. What could you no possibly way. have to talk about that has substance? I have never I have never once heard you talk about something that has substance. Well, uh I talk about polar pop and it has substance in it. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh that's about that's about our time for the day. Uh I, th- I really think we should call it quits at this point. Oh yeah, this is our time's up. Our time is up. But right. uh, cut his mic off. Stay tuned for cut his, this cut uh, upcoming shows. We're gonna have some great classy shows coming. Five year old switcher doesn't even know how to operate the sound. Soundboard. All right, guys, we love you. Uh, stay tuned for these great shows coming up. I'm being serious about that. We got some real good. Shiznit coming up soon. We will be operating the equipment for those right. shows. Yeah, so you won't hear no echo. You ain't gonna hear no feedback. It's well, they didn't hear the echo. The echo was here in the studio. Well, maybe it echoed and then it came through here and then they heard the echo. That's possible. Possible. Doubt possible, it. Possible. Doubt it, but possible. All right, guys. Uh, let's uh, go to camera three and give them a nice bye bye. Bye, guys. Love you. Have a good time there. Uh, e- look at my play with his hair. Bye. Love you. Close the curtain. Oh, that's too close. <laughs>